Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. Keeping with the theme of fermenting, you know, you get your harvest from the summer, you got all these pickles or whatever vegetables. A good way of preserving them is fermenting. Canning is another one, but right now we're going to concentrate on fermenting. So what we're going to do is, is we're going to make our own half sour pickles. So what we have here are Kirby's. These are uh, meant for, for pickling to make uh, pickles. So these Kirby cucumbers, um, I think they're going to work out well. These have been washed. I washed them in some water and a little bit of uh, white vinegar. And then uh, just, just wiped them dry a little bit. The brining solution. So, if you're like most of us, you're going to use something like this. You're going to see it's got the milliliters on there, the, the metrics. For a half sour pickle, the brining solution should be um, for every 500 milliliters, one tablespoon of sea salt. Uh, you don't want iodized salt or anything like that, table salt. You might be able to get away with kosher salt. Um, you need something to put them in. I'm using, this is an, this is glass. This is, I had, uh, I had used this for storing flour. Ran out of flour, so I figured, let me use that. I got about, four cloves of garlic chopped here we've got one hot chili pepper we get like 85 or 90 percent of our garlic from China that's like anything else in China they process the hell out of it with chemicals so it's best to get um, local garlic or, or garlic from the United States and the way you can tell that it's it's domestic garlic is if you look at the root here it's got the root right and this is this is a Chinese garlic and this is Chinese garlic no root. I, but I threw this away, by the way. I just didn't like the way I was able to find this, so I threw this away. So, can you see the difference? Local import. And the reason why they're required to get rid of the roots is so they, um, any soil-borne uh, pathogens or bacteria that aren't, you know, um, part of this region, it doesn't it doesn't inadvertently get transferred over here so what you want you want to look for roots on the garlic coriander seeds mustard seed a couple bay leaves celery seed coriander seed celery seed mustard seed it's going to be a teaspoon each And last but not least, dill. So I think I'm going to use all of this. Maybe, I don't know, break the stems off, throw that in there. Oh, I had, I had a leftover onion, so I figured let me put a little sliver of onion in there as well. Here's, here's the bay leaf and the garlic and everything. 
And you want to chop the garlic so you release the uh, the oils and stuff from the garlic. Okay. One teaspoon. That was celery seed. One teaspoon coriander seed. Mustard seed. Okay, and now we want to arrange these in here the best way we can. I'm going to try to stand them up and see how that works. Okay, now this is my brining solution. Like I said, I already dissolved um, two teaspoons into 1,000 milliliters, and that's a little bit more than four cups. Alright, I just wanted to make sure that these were submersed. I think that's it. So we, we're going to set this aside for about three days and then we're going to taste it. Um, see how it tastes. If it needs to go more, then we're going to go up to seven days. And then to stop the fermenting process, you just put it in the fridge. So, we'll be back. Three days later. Okay, so it's been uh, three days, and I tasted one of these pickles, and they taste really good. I made a little mess there. You could see a little cloudy, but that's but that seems to be uh, normal, and. Take this out. So I, I already had one, and they're they're uh, very garlicky. So that's it. It's a half sour. Ready? It still has its crunch. It's got all those flavors. This is definitely going to be something on a regular basis as long as I can get the Kirby's. Anyway, so that's it. Um, hope you like this. Like, subscribe, and uh, comment. Alright, it took three days. Three days to make these. And I'm very pleased. So, anyway, John Campo, not to Neat Chef. We'll see you soon.